Hello Apple lovers and Apple users, welcome to App World. First of all, I'll begin by thanking you guys for your subscriptions. Uh, it's truly a pleasure to have you guys with us. Uh, welcome to the App World family. Now I'll be talking about an exciting blog uh, with regards to the next generation of iPads. That is the iPad X 2018. Okay. According to KGI Securities Analyst Ming-Chi Ko, uh, who, which is the most reliable source for Apple Leaks, he has confirmed that the iPad X, I mean the iPad 2018, will have the features that of an iPhone 10. Uh, like the Face ID with a true depth camera, no home button and various other features. In this video, I'll try to cover most of the uh, most of the features. First of all, I'll begin by talking about the design. The design will almost be the same as the I the current iPad. That is the iPad Pro 2000. Uh, I mean the iPad Pro 10.5 uh, and the 12.9. But the iPad X 2018. I'm sorry, the iPad 2018 will have much thinner bezels. The bezel bezels will be really less. Okay, uh, that's about the design. Second off, if you talk uh, the most important factor, that is the display. Okay. If you guys know that the iPhone 10 has an OLED display, okay, this cannot be expected in the iPad X 2018. I'll tell you the reason why. An OLED display of size 10.5 or 12.9 will be really expensive and Apple will not go for the OLED display. Instead, it will go for the LCD, uh, the LCD Retina multi-touch display that already exists on the iPad Pro, okay, iPad Pro 2017. As I said, the OLED display of size 10.5, 12.9 will be really expensive. So Apple will not consider that in any way. That's about the display. Next, to move on to the processor. The processor will be uh, the current iPad, the iPad Pros, the current iPad Pros have a 10, 10x processor. A 10x processor which is already fast. iPad 2018 will have an A 11x processor which is, I mean, which is even faster. It's like you will have a small computer with high configuration. So the current iPad users uh, will mostly prefer to go for the, I mean, should go for the iPad X 2018. The second and most important factor is the Face ID. Okay, now Face ID was confirmed by Michi Ko. Uh, he, as I said, he's the most, I mean, he's the most reliable source for Apple leaks. He said that the iPad 2018 will have the Face ID, which is uh, really, uh, I mean, it's quite great. It's good. It's really good. Now, if you are an iPhone 10 user, you will note that uh, the iPad, uh, the iPhone 10 home menu comes in the ori uh, ori portrait orientation, okay? Which is uh, quite simple. You just hold up the hold up the iPhone, hold the iPhone 10 towards your face, and it opens up. Now, the iPad X uh, people usually tend to use it in the portrait as well as the lam landscape orientation, okay? Now, Apple will have to figure out a solution for that, so that you know. Uh, uh, so that the face, the face ID recognizes your face in both orientations. Hopefully, Apple will, uh, you know, figure out a solution for that. Uh, I'm waiting, I'm desperately waiting to see what Apple's going to come up with. Now, with the true depth camera, uh, you will also get uh, with the true depth camera, you can uh, take selfies in portrait mode as well. I mean, the fourth most important factor is the storage capacity. Now, the uh, the iPad 2018 will get the same storage capacities as the iPad Pro 2017 uh, with, the, with the 64 GB, I'm sorry, 64, uh, 256 and the 512 GB. Uh, there, there won't be much changes in the storage capacity, okay? And if you talk about the price, it will be increased by around five to 10,000. The basic model, the iPad Pro, the basic model with the 64 GB, only Wi-Fi 50,000. Now the iPad 2018, you will get that for around uh, 65,000 since you will not be having the OLED display. Uh, so far that's all about the iPad uh, iPad X 2018. Uh, please stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.